What's going on guys, Bachman's Garage again with another video. Today's video I just wanted to say thank you so much. We finally hit 500 subscribers. Uh, hopefully in the very near future I'll be able to do something such as a giveaway or uh, some sort of, I don't know, something to give back to you guys because I really appreciate it. Um, 500 subscribers isn't really a huge thing, but for somebody with such a small channel as my own, 500 subscribers is just a stepping stone to get a little bit bigger, a little bit better. Um, I know my quality of videos is lacking sometimes, like right now I'm filming this off my phone, and I don't, uh, I don't have the time nor the knowledge or the money to have good recording equipment. I'm not great with editing software that they offer on like mobile devices and stuff like that. I'm just not good with technology. I'm not like the rest of my generation. So without further ado, I just wanted to say thank you so much for uh, finally getting my channel to 500 subscribers. If we can get it to keep going, that'd be great. Uh, today, I'm working on my 1986 Yamaha 4Zinger. Sadly enough, uh, it will be for sale. It has not run in give or take probably two years. So I'm cleaning the carburetor, checking the air filter, gotta check the oil, I'm pretty sure the oil is okay. Uh, I did it not too long ago. I mean, it's been two years, but it's just sitting in a crankcase, so chances are it's fine. I use really good Bell Ray oil in all of my two-stroke vehicles. So that should be fine there, and definitely needs a new spark plug, so I'm gonna have to go out and get one of those. But uh, yeah, if anybody's interested in basically 100% original 1986 Yamaha 4 Zinger in almost perfect complete condition uh let me know the frame and stuff was repainted the rear differential was repainted motor was repainted uh it probably will need a top end in i don't i don't even know how many hours are on it it's the original top end from 86 it looks like somebody disassembled it at one point and put gaskets in it maybe or maybe they set a new piston and rings but it's definitely the original cylinder and head for sure uh but these kids that used to have these things back in 86, they beat the ever-loving snot out of these things, and they took it. So for it to have an original cylinder and head doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, you can get a Chinese knockoff cylinder, head, and piston and rings and everything for like 60 bucks. If you're going to go NOS Yamaha, you're probably going to spend in the market of $300, give or take. But it has a freshly rebuilt uh, pull start as well. Those run some money because that's the very first thing that always breaks on these things when they're hard starting and people can't get them on the first or second pull. They just pull and pull and pull and pull and pull until the cord breaks and then the spring inside rewinds and all that stuff. And it's not fun to deal with, especially on these uh, because they are pretty complex for a recoil starter. It's not like a normal push mower or something else with a pull cord. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to make a short video to say thank you guys. Uh, if you guys, if any of you would be interested in buying the Forzinger, I will have it on Facebook Marketplace. It's in the Harrisburg area of Pennsylvania. So uh, if you're scrolling through Marketplace and you want to try to find it, by all means, please don't message me about it on YouTube. Uh, if uh, you go in any of my previous videos, you can find me on Facebook. I believe there's a couple of links. Um, I'm a little weird with security right now as far as getting out my information because uh uh, some personal things, but besides the point, um, yeah, the four zingers for sale. Uh, let me know if anybody's interested in it. Thank you guys for 500 subscribers, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.